Hey guys, my name is Isabella and welcome to my ASMR channel. So before we get into today's video, I just want to remind everyone about a couple of things. First, I have a Patreon where for $3 a month, you can get four extra exclusive ASMR videos each and every month. I also have an OnlyFans if that's something you're interested in. You can find the link to that in my Linktree link located in my description box. Using that same Linktree link, you can find my Wizio page where I make all of my custom ASMR videos along with my Instagram if you'd like to follow me over there. Last but not least, I would love it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. But now let's get into today's video. Hi, how are you today? Good. Are you ready to get started? Okay, let's jump right into it. So, we're going to focus on figuring out what you're going to do for your senior science fair project. I know you've had a lot of anxiety leading up to this, but I was in your shoes this time last year, and as long as you stick to breaking up the project into manageable pieces little by little, um, it won't seem so overwhelming, which is why we are going to get a head start so that you're not cramming to get everything finished last minute, okay? So, I emailed you a worksheet that we will start working on once we figure out what your science fair project is going to be. Um, it's going to help you sort of lay out the project, Remember to include things in your poster board presentation. Um, we want to focus on like what your problem statement is, hypothesis, the materials that you're going to need for the project. Um, so everything, anything and everything that's used for the experiment. Um, procedures, we want to make sure it's a step-by-step -step procedure that Anyone should be able to follow and clearly un understand without asking any questions. So when someone walks by your project at the fair, they can read through your procedure, know exactly what you did, and not have to ask you a single thing about how you went about gaining your results, conducting your experiment. Um, variables manipulated, independent, dependent. Um, so those are the things that we'll focus on once we have our topic picked out. Um, so I took it upon myself last night. I put a list together. Um, I have it on my phone. We'll kind of go through what I found and what you found and see what you want to do. And Again, don't stress. We have plenty of time. I'm going to be with you every step of the way. Um, obviously, I, I can't do the project for you, but I can certainly help you manage it and um, help you go about it in a, a way that will make you feel less stressed, okay? Because I do remember when I was in your position and... I would have loved to have had a tutor helping me along, especially one that just went through the same thing. <laughs> so, I know. So you lucked out that I am home from college, that your parents wanted to help you, that we live on the same street, <laughs> that we're neighbors, so it makes it easy. Um, okay. So. What ideas did you come up with? Okay, I'll write it down. Um, extract DNA from a strawberry. That would be interesting. Um, one of the ideas I came up with was testing the five second rule. Do it, should we write it down? Okay. Testing the five 
second rule. What's another one of yours? Okay. Make plants move with light test. Cool. Um, okay. I would have to look into that one. I don't know how to do that off the top of my head. Um, another one I came up with was to look for cell mitosis in an onion. Oh. Okay. That's Okay, determine whether sports drinks provide more electrolytes than orange juice. Okay. Um, construct a light bulb. That was another one I had. <laughs> a light. We can also look into them and see what is most doable. Um, oh. Did you read up on, like, the procedure for that? measure the speed of light with your microwave that I have no idea how you do that um, one that I personally thought was very interesting was um, exploring the impact of genetic modification on seeds and that's something that I think a lot of people would be interested in. You also want to think about the judges. And, um, well, it's based on the score from the judges. And then also everyone can vote for their favorite project. So you want to think of something that will be of interest to both parents and students. Well... I got fourth place last year, so I didn't win, but, um, for mine, I did the, um, having a brain freeze, what did I do? Oh, I did the effects of antibiotics on bacteria. Sorry. Um, and that's something that, you know, kind of applies to everyone. Antibiotic resistance is a topic of conversation. Um, it's relevant. It's something that scares people. And it's something that can be of interest to a variety of different age groups. So, which idea do you like? I think the five second rule, that one is like fun and um, interesting. Um, I think the, well, since, I guess you shouldn't do the same one that I did. So, let's cross off the effects of antibiotics on bacteria for you. Uh, look for cell mitosis in an onion. That one just seems kind of boring. Um, let's see.
I think your best bet is either genetic modification or the five second rule. I personally really like the five second rule one. I think both are really solid ideas. Um, and maybe if you want to think it over, you don't have to make a decision right away. You can take take some time, think it over, wait until our next session together. Um, I was talking to your parents. I know we usually meet twice a week, but I can't this Wednesday. So I could come over Thursday or Friday, Saturday. Your call. <laughs> um, I did not share the reason why. Well, it's because I sort of have a date. I know I'm a horrible tutor, blowing you off for a date. <laughs> it's okay, I'll make it up to you. I know how much you love me tutoring you. I'll make sure our session is extra long. <laughs> um, you don't know him. Well, he's a year older than me, so... Yes, he went to our high school, so he's two years older than you. Okay, you might know him, but I'm not telling you. Why do you care so much? You jealous? <laughs> well, if you're jealous, I think it's cute, but you're too young for me. I know, I know a year is not a lot, but, okay, you're not too young for me, but as long as I'm your tutor, it makes me feel like I'm significantly older, even if it's only by a year, so, I, I can't mix business with pleasure. Um... Okay, let's focus on your project. So, think it over. Whatever you want to do, um, I support you. I think both are solid options. And I would say, take into consideration what, um, what you'll find more interesting, you know? Because you want to you wanna be interested in your project. You don't want it to feel like complete work. And uh, you want to be excited to conduct your experiment and get your results. Uh, yes, there is a trophy for first, second, and third place. Fourth just gets an honorary mention. <laughs> If you score top 10, I will take you out to dinner, a restaurant of your choosing. No date, just a celebratory meal congratulating my student <laughs> on a job well done. What is getting into you right now? Okay, so work on that for me. Um, and let me know what you decide, what you want to do for your project. Um, my vote is five second rule, but ultimately it needs to be what you find the most interesting, so think about it, let me know, 
and I'm excited. It's good because we are getting a head start, so it'll make this a lot easier. And, well, I have a feeling, I have a feeling it's gonna come out, come out nicely. Because I plan on working you hard. <laughs> oh yeah, I am going to be so tough when it comes to giving you the thumbs up for everything. Everything is going to be perfect. I mean, your parents didn't hire me just to keep you at an average level. We want you to succeed. And who better to help you than a, a first-time fourth-place champion of the local science fair competition? Exactly. What's wrong? I told you. I'll be with you every step of the way. It won't be that bad. I will make up for not meeting with you Wednesday later on this week. Don't be a baby. Come on. It'll be fine. It'll be completely fine. Okay? Don't pout. If I couldn't tell any better, I would think you're jealous and, well, it's kind of cute. Maybe if you do well enough, I'll be impressed enough to look past that little fact that you're a year younger. If you do well enough, you won't need me anymore, and then I won't feel like I am so much older and wiser than you. Okay. This is your chance to impress me. I better get going, but um work on deciding if you want to do the five second rule or the genetic modification. Um I will see you do you wanna do Thursday, Friday, Saturday? I'll see you Thursday. Thank you. Hopefully it goes well. But it sounds like if it doesn't, I have someone else who will be happy to take the place of my... date. Okay. I'll let myself out. You get to work on your project. Text me if you need anything. Even if you just want someone to talk to. Just don't text me tomorrow night. Or not tomorrow night. Wednesday night. Because I'll be busy. <laughs> okay. See you later.